of 32. McMurray says, hey, I was in front the last time. You took it away from me earlier today. He's going to try and take it away from oh, you. He's hugging the metal. Here he goes. Keselowski's got trouble now. Keselowski's got like oh, on the hard side. Look out. They're going to go around. Oh, oh, big crash. Oh, and up into the wall. Look out. The caution is out. The race will finish. And it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. We will check with NASCAR officials because of where the field would be set when the yellow came out. Unofficially, it looks like Brad Keselowski has taken the win. And tough break for Kenny Wallace there. Well, it's good to see that right there. Let's go back and take another look and see what happened. See McMurray trying to get in line right here, right behind Harvick, just not enough room. Yeah, and he had to check up for just a second because he was on the rear, right rear quarter of Kevin Harvick. And then once he goes around, the chaos wow. begins. Look at Seth. Setzer. Wow. Good to see him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Well, and remember, they raised the catch fence after last year's race here. Also stretched it out over the racetrack. You're right. It did its job. Another view. Let's see right there. Jamie Murray just trying to get in. He was going to try to get there and push Kevin Harvick. Just got to remember an opening. They're coming to the checker flag, so they're not going to let off. Let's go on board with Justin Allgaier. Just listen. Huge block coming right here. Blaney as they go around the 37. Almost upside down. So is the 96. Parker Kligerman. Here they come. They make contact. They're side by side. It's a photo finish at the line. He's got Brian Newman. No, I'm sorry. The 12th car in front of him. And Justin Allgaier. Look at Allgaier now. Oh, three wide. A move around. Oh, three wide. Oh, look out. This is bad news. Oh, man. Up under the wall. Casey Kane. Now comes back down on all four. Caution is out. Oh, you can see that. You, Just hold on here. That is a tough break because that car, as you mentioned, was good tonight. Man, that's too bad. Yeah, but you know, as good as they are, you, you know, you sometimes it, it gets frustrating as a driver when you have that good a car and there's nowhere to go, but you just have to try to be as patient as you possibly can be. They know this race is only 250 laps, but uh, you put yourself in those positions, you know exactly what might happen. And we still weren't even quite halfway. In the March race, Kane finished 32nd. He was in a crash there. He had led 22 laps. He had gone from 37th up to 10th here. And then after the pit stop, fell back a little bit, was working his way back up. The lap traffic of Robert Richardson. And there's Casey getting out of the car. And there was just a log jam. And as so many times have we seen, contact. Pretty spectacular, though. Man, he climbed up on that wall. Man. Joy Chit would have been proud of that one. But... There's... Right here, Justin Allgaier's really struggling. Trevor Bain got to the inside of him, forced him to the right side a little bit, and Casey Kane was already there. Damage also to the right side of the 12 there, as you can see. Don't know how severe that is right now, but... Casey's night is done. That's good to see he's okay. The lucky dog is going to go to Dale Earnhardt Jr. It'll give us 24 cars on the lead lap. Here's another look. Yeah, Robert Richardson Jr. was the lap car that was in front of these cars. Everybody just looking for a way around. Man, that thing get up on the wall. You could see that just like it surprised Justin Allgaier whenever Trevor Bain got to the inside of him. Not sure that he ever had any idea that Casey Kane was out there. Things happening so fast, you might have a spotter hollering in your ear here, but it's happening so quickly, folks. Talking about 16 second laps. Watch them on board. I love that word energy. And speaking of, we got a big crash on the front stretch, a few cars oh. around, and another one. Look, look once again. Yeah, he had, he had nowhere to go there, obviously, wow. not being able to really react to, the, to that car getting spun behind him. So, just an innocent bystander. So, that's, that's unfortunate for. For, for Brayton there and Custer with the zero three with nowhere to go and watch. Oh my gosh. Great camera shot. But wow. Man, that's, man that's Richard Garvey riding up over. Looks like Lester's. a stadium truck. Well, he is and he is right up against that wall, but he made the pass. Oh, oh trouble. Bam. Hard. The wall goes big. Big. Byron noses in. Oh, heavy. Byron went in hard. Oh, Matt Kent's has piled into Byron right to, uh, to the 14 car right at the end there. 24 set down here on fire. 37. The one. 
What a, that was a huge wreck. Chris Buescher involved. You can see William moving around a little bit. That's Ty Dillon. There. He's out of the car now. Matt Kenseth and William Byron climbs out after an incredibly hard hit. I'm not sure what happened, but remember, William only took two tires. Oh, boy, they're four wide there. Byron on the yeah, bottom. He just gets yeah, loose he did, underneath yeah, he the just starts spinning out, gets into the... Oh. Man, it just... Oh, my gosh, the car almost went over. Just hooked. Nosed in. How many times have we seen a car land on top of, of uh, Ryan Newman? Ryan Newman. Yeah. I mean, I, that's two or three times I can remember. Too many. Remember, he was with uh, with McMurray down in Talladega when that happened. Matt Kenseth climbs from his car. Well, He's okay. That much damage, that kind of impact, it sure is good to see William Byron climb out of that car. It is, and this is hard into Ty the outside Dillon. wall. And it gets the lead away from Partridge, and he's going to do it. There's that three-car train back into one again. This time it works, sort of. Rouse gets into Partridge, and Rouse is trying to take second. Oh, and big trouble. Chris Eggleston hard into the wall. Wow. That I was mean, he huge. went straight into the wall. That car had, had great forward drive as he took the lead. And then he heading into like turn right. three. Drop the window net. Yep, thank goodness. Here's what happened. You can see him try to get out of the throttle and get on the brakes, and the wheel's locked up. Oh. It looks like a, a hung throttle, or, or the brakes didn't go out because the tire's locked up. You can see him smoking. You can hear the crowd cheering in the background. Chris has emerged from that 50 car. That was a huge hit. Wow. You can see him moving already. He was okay. Boy, that is just hard to do and hard to react that quickly to protect yourself, Landon. Yeah, I mean, you, it just reminds you that even on a small... Briscoe's not going to stay behind the 22. He wants to be up front, and now he goes to the nose of the 48 of Alex Bowman, hoping for a push. What a move. Oh, he can't get that push. Oh, oh into the, the wall he goes. And they'll collect more cars behind. The 14 stays on the ground. Break, hold the brake, hold the brake. You can see it happening. As he was coming around, Bubba Wallace with contact right there. Watching those guys go around turn three and four. The 14's driving up the racetrack. He is sideways. He's loose. And he's lifting off the gas. The 48 is waiting, waiting, waiting right in the left rear quarter panel. It finally spins the 14, the 14 car out. We've seen that so many times today with guys drive up the racetrack because they're so loose and they can't turn the wheel. Let's go out of the car. He had just made the move to get in front of the 22 of Logano, and this happened. So the 41 dives in the middle of the back straightaway to take the lead, but look at him up the racetrack. He's loose, and he starts coming back down the track, right in the left rear quarter panel. Goes the 48. The 48 wants to push him, but he needs to push him in the right side, but the 14's driving up the track loose, and that offsets him the wrong way. And that 14 car, was working its way the upside down. Nope. Let's take another look at this right here. Watch when this thing gets backwards. It turns around and it climbs a long ways off the ground before it comes back down. My goodness. Mm. That thing is, that's scary because, listen, tip, tipping over is bad enough, but then flipping into the grass and into traffic. You know, we've seen other cars. This will be a great onboard. Let's take a look. Onboard Bubba Wallace. Keep coming, keep coming straight. Straight down, pit road. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's how quick things happen here at Daytona. Think about this. We talk about avoiding wrecks and the dilemma with Martin Truex Jr. All the wrecks today have started from the second position. So in the front of the pack, just, it's so aggressive. That 14 car, uh, just up in front of that outside line. Now the inside line falls back. Three Fords and outside line organized to push and help each other. Oh, oh. around goes the 22. A hard hit by Joey Logano. All right, again. The 41, Logano was running in the second position up there on that outside line. Left rear tire blew out on the 22 car. That's how fast. Oh, oh look out. My goodness. Oh, look out. No, 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 no. Look out. There it is. Oh, oh Mike Wall no, Allgaier. Oh, yeah, look out. Wallace. And in a lot. Right. Damn it. Trouble off turn four. A dozen cars involved. Caution is out. That's Reed Sorensen.
Casey Roderick in the 08, Mike Wallace, Denny Hamlin, and more. See Kyle, Kirk Bush going up through the middle with Kyle. And then they get, all of them start getting together right at the front of the field. Uh, you can see that started. looked like with Trevor Bain getting separated. Got a little bit loose behind the six. You see somebody drives right underneath of uh, Allgaier. Yeah, that's the 52, Reed Sorensen, that was underneath. He was completely underneath. See Johanna Long getting a piece of that. Not a lot of contact, but she has some damage to the left front. I believe it starts right here. Watch Trevor Bain. May have to jump out of the throttle and get sideways here. A lot of times, June, you have to jump out to keep them running over that car in front of you. Your car will just jump for about a half a lane. I'm telling you, Reed Sorensen was completely underneath Justin Allgaier's car. Clear to the bottom. Clear to the bottom. Breaking in front of you. Stay low. Stay low. And he knocked all the water out of that barrel, up and over our cameraman, and then all over the racetrack, too. That's going to cause quite a bit of cleanup issues. There you see Todd Gillen, our leader, running through that water down on the bottom. Watch at the entrance into the corner. That car just went straight on him. Wow. wow, look at that. Huge impact for Matt Levine in the 10. Kevin Harvick to be able to get clear. As soon as he's clear, the four is going to go to the inside. Oh, we got a wreck in the back. Got a big crash. They're behind sliding you, behind as it went across the start finish line. The caution has Brad come out. Keslowski's involved in it. You see him hit the inside wall. Big damage, it looks like, to Austin Dillon in the three. Brad Keslowski. Playoff I'll driver. There's the three of Dillon. Kozlowski now below the cut line. Ty Dillon, or excuse me, Ty Gibbs also involved in the 54. Yeah, big damage on the nose of that car as he climbs out to 42. Carson Hosevar. Yep. All these cars, a lot I'm, of nose I'm damage. Flat. I can't drive it. The MR safety crew out. Uh, attending to all of these drivers. We saw Ty Gibbs walking there outside of the car. Here's Austin Dillon climbing out of the three. Again, while it was crazy, crazy up front. I was wondering if Brad could get that car moving, but he's got a lot of flat tires. Looks like a bent toe link on that left rear. Yeah, the whole back end is busted off as far as the body work. Let's take a look at what happens. Carson Hosevar on the outside line. Getting a push from Brad Kozlowski here through the trioval. And it just turns that 42 sideways. Oh, man, massive, massive impact for the outside wall, the 54 and the three. The three somewhat lessened a little bit of that blow when he collects the six as well, but hard hit for the 54. Right along with Busher. Left, left, if you can, left, 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 come down, straight, just break, 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 push him straight forward, nice, you're clear, straight forward, they're still wrecking up. You know, we talk about pushing and how important it is, but Brad Kozlowski has caused a lot of wrecks on these plate in these races with this car by pushing. He has been very aggressive. And once again, just pushing a little too hard at the wrong time. Car got in the air there briefly. Not good to see. Good thing it did come back down. But that is a difficult place to push someone. In the trial, well, the car that you're pushing is very light. It's not planted in the ground. Look at that. Good thing those flaps got up in the air and got the car back down. It's like when the right front tire on that car blew or something, it allowed the pressure coming out of that tire and the wind coming underneath the rod. Five per second. Marson Elliott Hamlin, third through fifth. Oh, Austin Dillon, crash. look at this. Dillon with so much damage. Just finished sixth in the stage and the whole back end of the car torn off. Oh, they had such a good day oh, wow. going. Let's take a look and see My how bad, this yeah. started. On the inside of Brad Kozlowski off of turn four. 
side drafting the two. Oh, my. Oh, that's a hard hit. Had just finished six. It looked like when he went to the apron, he thought once he crossed the start-finish line, just come back up on the racetrack, but the two was there. Lots of side drafting going on here. Underneath Keselowski. Just trying to side draft, and Keselowski comes down the racetrack with him, trying to slow him down. Mm. That is just two guys trying to use the arrow to slow the other one down and make contact. Hooked him in the right rear, sent him straight into the wall. We were riding along with Tree there, that onboard. Now, you take a look from Brad's perspective. Big hit by Austin Dillon. It's a must-win situation in Daytona now for the three-team and Austin Dillon almost upside down. Todd Bodine and Kenny Wallace. Bodine's car is pitched up in the air. Don't fire. A heavy crash. Wow. Down and Kenny Wallace both out of their yeah. cars. Todd had the window net down before the car stopped. The 54 car goes right down next to Kurt Busch. Now, whether or not there's contact or not, there, I don't know. Oh, there's definitely contact. Looks like there is. Yeah. Looks like they just touched. Maybe the rear tires touched. And Todd into the wall. Now, watch Kenny Wallace in the 23 car. We got a good shot of him. The window net, as they said, is already down. He's coming out already. He's, he's, out, he's the out. The car's still moving. He's getting out of there. Yeah, that thing's hot. Getting away from there. Now, Todd Bodine is out of his car. Cameras. There's cameras everywhere. We're not gonna miss all over this bunch. We're not gonna miss anything. Let's see what happens. Skinner gets into the back of Mike Wallace. Gets in the right rear corner and turns him up in the outside wall. Derek Cope looked like he got got hit from behind by Tabo Dine. And I'm telling you, Michael, it looks like Tabo Dine is running fourth. Take a look Ruben at this. gets hit by, by the nine, knocks him up into Johnny. Look at these. They're, they're five wide right now. But but the the wreck didn't happen because of that. That was Todd Bodine who got into the 40. Todd Bodine got into the 40 of Derek Cope, just as the 5 of Mike Skinner got into the 15 of Mike Wallace. I think Todd Bodine was 4. I think Todd Bodine finished 4th in this race. Unbelievable. Todd Bodine getting penalized, goes all the way to the back, and then potentially could finish 4th in this race. There's Look another at, shot here. What, what about this glob? There's two things that happened. Todd Bodine turned the 40, and Mike Skinner turned the 15. Totally separate. And Those two incidents were totally separate within about 30 feet of each other. And they did exactly the same thing. They got into the right rear quarter panel of the trucks they were racing. Now, could that be, and we haven't even talked about the fact that Mark Martin has won this race, his fifth win, but could that be, uh, I mean, can it be a penalty for Todd Bodine? Well, it's it, it's the last lap. I don't think you'll see a penalty, but uh, certainly over aggressive driving by both those guys on the last lap. If there's, Skinner and Bodine. If there's such a thing as that, is there? But we talked about it the whole race. <laughs> These guys really use their heads this entire race. We got down to the very last lap here. Watch this. This is what Dennis Setzer saw here. They're five wide right in front of him. But listen, Dennis. Wow, did you see Derek Coach truck? Wow. That looked like something from Twister. Flying right next to him. Watch this Take now. a look at this real time. Watch. Now they're coming down the back stretch. They fan out. They're at least five wide right here. Mike Skinner's going to make some contact with Mike Wallace. Oh, we, broke, we broke the camera. camera. We'll have to get that fixed for tomorrow. Thumper will take care of it. Now we need to freeze it right there. Try to figure out who finished where. And NASCAR, NASCAR is doing and NASCAR exactly will that. Do that. NASCAR will do that. Remember, NASCAR will look at whatever they can available to them to determine. What happens so frequently at these kind of places is we get accidents in the straightaways. You would think it would be easy to drive these trucks down the straightaway. Not the case. There's Ron Hornaday, two-time winner here. There's Herman Caroga, top ten in points. He's going to take a big hit. Mason Mingus, who had a good qualifying effort in that 15 truck. There was some side drafting, some bump drafting, and like you said, Phil, it all occurs on the straightaway. Ooh, it looked like Kuroga tried to get into a hole that Eric Jones 
wasn't sure was there. Hard, hard hit from Mason Mingus in that 15 truck. The crazy Rock. thing is you're, the, you know, we're talking lap 10, 10, lap 10 and 11. You just have to make sure that you understand where gaps are and that they're going to be there this early in the race. Ryan Sieg swerved to the outside trying to get by. Nowhere to go when Mingus came up in front of him. Yeah, and hard contact with the third. Let's take another look at it here. See the blue truck left side of your screen. You see him get sideways, get in the 15 of Mason Mingus, then go to the outside. No 